Hi, this is Leanne at Complete Payroll. Welcome to Payroll Country. Today we're going to be taking a look at the reports menu in TimeWorks Plus. So from our dashboard, I will refer to our navigation pane on the left hand side and select reports menu. Here on our reports menu are the list of the standard reports that are available for you and you may also have an option for custom reporting. Also, please keep in mind that the information available in your reports will be directly related to your access level. So supervisors may only see information for their direct reports, while administrators with full access to the system will see details for all employees. Today we're just going to take a look at a few of these standard reports. You may be familiar with the download activity files and the summary report as those are covered in our video TimeWorks Plus Submitting Payroll located in our video library at CompletePayroll.com. In this video we're going to just take a look at some of the other reports that you might find useful. The first one I want to show you is the time card audit log. So this report is going to show you any changes that have been made into your time cards for a particular pay period. So here in my selection menu, I'm going to select the pay period. I can select these further filter items by showing either the employee code, department, location, or supervisor. I also have further filtering options over on the right hand side. I want to include all employees and I'm just going to select run. In TimeWorks Plus, all of your reports are going to appear on the screen where you can just get a quick view. And then if you would like to print or download, you can do so in the upper right hand corner where you see the printer icon or the download icon. You also can see at the bottom of the page that this report has many pages. So we can um, use the directional arrow or just jump to the page that we would like to see. And basically we're seeing all the audits that have taken place during this pay period for these employees. The next report that I want to show you is our accruals report. We'll go ahead and just click on that title. And here I do have some additional selections. I can include all active employees or just specific employees depending on the needs of my report. Today I'm going to run this for all employees, but I do want to select just one particular balance to include and that will be PTO. I'm going to show my balances as of 8-11-2018 and just click on run report. And here now I have a quick report showing me the current balances for each employee in the, pay t in the PTO option here. Again, I have the print function or I can export this to CSV and view this report in Excel. The next report I'll show you is the detail report and this is going to show you the detailed time cards for each of these employees. So I will go ahead and select my time period. Again, I have my different filtering options and then I can change my sort order. I can change again the filter down here and I'll click on submit to view my detailed report for this pay period of each employee's time card. On this report, if I would like to print, I'm just going to right click my mouse and use the print option from my web browser. So going back to our reports menu, the next report that I will show you is the punch notes report. And this is going to show you any notes that were included on employees time cards for a particular pay period. So again, I select my pay period and then just go ahead and select submit. And here I'll see a list of the different notes that were included. Finally, the last report I'm going to show you is the time off request report. So this is going to show you a list of each time off request in a particular time period that you designate. I'm going to include all of my active employees. I'll click in the start date window to choose a date from my calendar. And then again for my end date, I can uh, change my calendar and move out to um, additional months. And then I'll select run report. And here I have a full list of my employees, the request date, the status, the supervisor action, any comments, and so on. As you can see, we have a very detailed report here for managing your time off requests. And again, we have a printer option and the export to CSV option as well. So you have many standard reports here in your reports menu. And again, I'll mention you may have custom reporting available as well. For custom reports, please speak to your CSR to get more information. 
For other details on functions in TimeWorks Plus, please check out our video library at CompletePayroll.com. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.